Let's see if you can tell what's wrong with this picture The chick from Planet Attitude is my sister My mom could help but she's in space at the moment That isn't qualified to counsel a donut Bam, I didn't see that train Now I've got cartoons coming out of my brain No one can see them so it's hard to explain it I'll keep my head when there's a freak trying to claim it Till then, if I can make some new friends And not go off the deep end I bet I'm out of my head Jimmy! Time for school! Hold on, I'll be right there. Just one more look at the scrapbook in case I don't see Rob until our study date after school. Oh. oh, the picture of her the first time you met. The note she sent you when she wanted to borrow your pencil. And a headband? Wow, Jimmy. If someone did that in Cartoon Land, we'd call them weird and creepy. Well, in Human Land, we call it showing an interest. Whoa! Where did you get that fancy gel? Did you steal my anti-gravity hair gel? No, no. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll pay you back. No, I'll pay you back. <laughs> I mean, with revenge. <laughs> Check it out, Mittens. Five seconds of my hypnotic television show. Hey! Jimmy's and non-Jimmy's out there, I'm Envelope Ed, and today we're going to learn what letter says gah! Also, what to do when our ears get dirty. And most importantly, give me a brain, give me a brain, give me a brain, give me a brain. I give me my brain. This is perfect. This is perfect. Jimmy will come home from school, watch it, and his brain will be mine. <laughs> Give me a brain. Give me a brain. Give me a brain. If we fold on this axis, we have two rectangles of equal Size. Let me know if I'm going too fast. Please notice the cool. Brisk. He's so bored. What should we do, Golly? Well, since you're asking. Hey, 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 hey! Why are you always asking Golly to solve Jimmy's problems? Why not me? Because you're incompetent. Oh, yeah? Just watch me! Zing -a -zing -zing! Hey, Jimmer! Check out this drone aircraft! Wow, that's really interesting. Now hit that target! Two one hundred. Bullseye! <laughs> Oh, nice going, Tux. You got Jimmy sent off to detention, and now he's got to call off his study date with Robin. Oh, you've been a big help. Oh, come on. It's not like I sent him to the big house. Welcome to the joint. Purpose room. Detention's here today, but it's also where we hang the school's barbecue grill to dry. Now, son, you have to understand that even though I'm your father, I can't show you any special treatment else would have a detention revolt. <laughs> That's for your handprint, Turkey. You'll finish it later. I can give you your smock now, though. Now, feel free to mingle with the other inmates. Psst. Come here. Craig? You're here? Yeah. They busted me for the test-stealing pig. Somebody squealed. Sadly, yes. But I'm busting out. 
You want in? You're busting out of detention. But it only lasts two hours. Exactly. If I don't bust out before then, I'll miss my chance. Because you'll be out. Exactly. I'm not breaking in just to break back out. If I see you by the pistol sharpener in 15 minutes, wearing a sombrero, I'm knowing your rank. Craig, I'm not gonna... You two! Less chitter-chatter. Help the rest of them break up these frozen fish sticks for tomorrow's lunch. <laughs> The crossing guard said that Jimmy had detention mittens, but I got enough extension cords to bring my TV show to him. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I'll get you gravity. Someday when you least expect it! <laughs> I'm picking you up today, Doof. You're supposed to be out here. Sorry, I got detention. Look, can you do me a huge favor? Robin's coming by our house for a study date. Can you tell her I have to cancel? Oh, I'll tell her. And don't worry about that revenge from this morning. Looks like I'm about to take care of that. Great, great, you're the best. Wait, what? <laughs> hey, hey, wait, wait. If, if you saw anything weird in my room this morning, like, like, like a scrapbook, Robin totally would not be interested in anything, anything like that. <laughs> no, no, no! Dude, what are you wearing? It's, you know, the hat. I know it's the hat. Craig, it's the signal for the breakout. I'm going with you. I've got to get out and stop Yancey. Oh, good. But if you want to go with me, you got to lose the hat. <laughs> okay, now that I've agreed to bust out with you, what's your plan? My plan? Why'd you think I wanted you to break out with me? If I had a plan, what would I need you for? Oy, 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 oy. Look, Jimmy, I may have gotten you thrown into detention, but I've got a great way to escape. Hey, how about I just teach you to tunnel out? <laughs> how could you... I'm a gopher. We've got to move fast. I've got security measures in place that'll keep Yancey from showing Rob in the scrapbook for a while. Jimmy, who's ready to habla some Espanol? Hi! Uh, hola. Jimmy wanted me to let you know that he's on his way. In the meantime, he said I should show you something. sure Jimmy really wants us to see this. What makes you say that? Wow, Jimmy. You're really good at dirt tunneling. I mean, I tried lots of times. But I never get more than a foot an hour. Well, I've got a little help. We're here! Home is directly above us! Um, are you sure? Golly said it was further. Look, I know some people are holding a grudge about the drone airplane, but we've all grown up a lot since then. And I'm telling you, I can smell your mom's cooking right through here! That's weird. What's an old sour cream container doing under my house? Ugh. This isn't my house, it's a landfill! <laughs> you know, my grandma warned me that green people with horns would tempt me to do wrong. Wait, look. What is this? 
The clue you find adventurers seek lies in a place filled all but once a week. Some kind of riddle. A mailbox. It's full every day but Sunday. You are smart. Let's go see if you're right. Okay, but then I am definitely out of this. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Easy on those fish sticks. You break them, you buy them. Who left a coat here? Whoa. Jimmy, check out this awesome tunnel I... Jimmy? He's escaped. Okay, listen up. I have to deal with an escapee. Everyone stay put until I get back. Uh, well, lucky thing I was able to find this TV at the school library. Hey, where are you guys going? Hey, where, where's Jimmy? Where, where's Jimmy? Little boy, where's Jimmy? I probably fell down that hole. Looks like that extension cord saved. Where did Jimmy go, boy? Find him. He smells like me, only stinkier. This isn't my house. My family doesn't wear bloomers. <laughs> yeah. Where'd they go? Find a boy. Oh, that's it. Oh no. Oh. What are we gonna do? Quick! In here! If anything goes wrong, I'll take the one on the right. Aha! A key. You are right. Now we just gotta figure out where this goes. Come on. Nope, that's it for me. We're invading Jimmy's privacy. That's wrong. Really? Are you serious? What's left to do, go to church and eat vitamins? Are you saying I'm not cool? I can have fun. Want a piece of gum? No, it causes cavities. Come on, for once do something because you're dying to do it. But my grandma says- Your grandma's not gonna know. Don't you want to see what it's like? I've seen the commercials. No! Young people are always gonna be telling me it's cool to chew gum and put low, trashy stickers on my notebook. But it's more important to develop my character. Your hand already unwrapped it. Shall we go on to the next clue? Ken Roberts, I run the detention across the river. This afternoon we had a breakout. Uh, have you seen two kids about this high? No, about, about, uh, about yeah. Oh, there haven't been any young'uns in here since our Grandpa Eddie was a kitten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, Rita? If then, Doris, mm -hmm. if then. Well, if you do see them, just blow this hound whistle. I'll come and find you wherever I am. Come on, boy, that was a dead end. Wow. Thanks so much for hiding us. It's only fair. We were helped by many kind people when we escaped. Oh, no, not from prison. <laughs> from the carnival. Oh. <laughs> and now that we've done something for you, you can do something for us. It's time for dinner. <laughs> Would you help us decide what to have for dessert? Custard or tapioca? That's what you want? Sure. No problem. <laughs> this is the only way we know how to decide what to have for dessert. Tapioca! Go, Custard, go! There is guts out! Yay! Tapioca! What are you doing? Defend Custard, you coward! Get out of here! 
All right, let's go left. No, no, Jimmy, right! Okay, let's go right. There you are! Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy! Could I give you one last piece of advice? Never listen to me again! I take back all those things I said to you. I'm so glad I caught up with you guys. When I saw that hole you dug, I realized I'd been a little strict. So I hope this makes it up to you. Um, it's great, but I gotta go. Nonsense. I won't feel better until I've seen you eat it all. <laughs> More sprinkles, please. Brain freeze. another bite. I'll help you, Jimmy! <laughs> so we have two choices. We could either flip this switch, turn on this machine, and solve Jimmy's problem. Yay! Or not flip this switch and fail to solve Jimmy's problem. Boo! Can anyone give me some advice? Tux? No, all my advice has done is get Jimmy into trouble. I'm done! Look, if we flip the switch, we'll solve Jimmy's problem. If we don't, we won't. Now, what should we do? Well, I don't know. Seems like six of one, half a dozen of the other. Or is it half a dozen of one and six of the other? Plus, what if there's some third option? The whole thing! He gave his advice by doing it! Huzzah! Thanks, Tux. Oh, thing! You guys were hopeless without me! What do we do, Tux? What do we do? Oh, Tux, save us from our waffling indecisiveness! <laughs> I'm glad we had this talk. Seven. Hey, each of my strides is two and a third paces. Keep up! <laughs> know thy path, first know thyself. Duh. The next clue is in one of these books. <laughs> you're supposed to keep chewing it. Do you do everything you're supposed to, Yancey? Looks like we can either go straight ahead or upwards. I got a good feeling about upwards. Better move on, Gancy. Can you believe it? It was in the other side of the safe all along. Man, I feel so alive. Chewing gum, breaking and entering, poking people. Hey, what was that for? Because it's wrong. <laughs> Finally. Yancey, look. To my loving sister, Yancey, happy birthday. Aw, how sweet. Wait, I can't believe this. You turned to me bad and made me a member of your gang just so you could get your birthday present early? Robin, you didn't see... Jimmy, I'm so sorry for invading your privacy like this. No, no, there's another secret panel. I know it, I know it! Come on, let's go. My stomach really hurts from all the scum. This isn't over.
Robin started chewing gum? You are going right in here, mister. Dude, that is beyond creepy. Thanks, dearie, for helping us pick what tea to have before bedtime. It's just the easiest way to decide. Uh, but why do I have to be on the wheel? No reason. <laughs>